He's also got beautiful markings down his back. His feathers are waterproof. So even though he lives where it's hot, it gets a little bit cooler in the water, especially as he dives deeper. So the deeper he dives, the colder it is. So those feathers are going to keep him nice and warm. And then when he makes his way up to the surface, his mod of his feathers will help him get very dry very quickly. Now Jazz here also has a uh, marking on his chest. Now Cupid has social facial recognition. So Jazz knows exactly who I am. He knows who Cam is. He knows who Ryan is. And he knows who he lives with other penguins as well. So just like we have different fingerprints, none of us have the same fingerprints as the other one. Um, same with them. They have different markings. So those different markings on their chest help them define, differentiate who is who. Now, penguins unfortunately are not doing well. They are animal classified as critically endangered. So, what that means is that this penguin that you see right in front of you, they are not doing very well in their natural environment. Other populations have declined drastically within the last 100 years. We used to have millions of them, now we only have down to some thousands. And there are multiple reasons why we're having issues with them. Um, let's think about it. Why do we think they're suffering out in their natural environment? Pollution is definitely one of them. A lot of plastic ends up in our ocean. So here we have a plastic bag, plastic straws. But we have the Trinity River here, and that leads back into the waterways into the ocean. And then unfortunately, a lot of penguins, a lot of other marine animals think that it's food. Some penguins can eat jelly. So a plastic bag appears very similar to, um, to a jelly. And unfortunately, they eat it, and then they a little bit sick. But also, another reason why they're having issues is because of the, their 